Never argue with a fool. The onlookers may not be able to tell the difference. He's half right and right and not right. Uh, the proverb says it like this. Never answer a fool to his folly unless you become like him. Answer a fool to his folly unless he become wise in his own conceit. It's again that if you don't have the answer but you're arguing with him and you don't have words that you'll die for, then both of you are fools arguing about foolish things. But if you will die for the words and you know that they be true and they're grounded, rooted in God, in your ancestors, in the ancient landmarks, Ten Commands, Bill of Rights, Declaration, Holy Scripture, Quran, Tanakh, Bible, well then you're no longer a fool to answer a fool. You are now wise and you must answer the fool or he'll be in his own conceit. He'll think that he is wise with his bitch ass opinion. That is never wise. That is only good for children when you're a mama raising children because it'll keep them from eating crayons or something, uh, touching a light socket. You can be opinionated there because your opinion will actually help restrict them from killing themselves. But truth as they grow up is what they must have and truth is always rooted in blood because there's life in the blood that's the holy spirit manifested in flesh and this is an option for you to pick up and a fool doesn't pick it up and they'll just go about with opinions like in america today tons of opinions with a bunch of fools answering a bunch of fools and prisons go up but somewhere some fool is kicking the other fool's ass because they're putting you to slavery you're paying them and all it is is fucking opinion everywhere but if you read your Bill of Rights, you'll see the treason. But what does that matter if you're going to do treason on your own spouse, steal your own fucking kids, calling them toads? Therefore, you're all fucked in the way. You're all dumb as shit. And it's simple to see that literally you have not the answer to answer a fool. Therefore, you're all foolish fools in your folly. But a wise person will answer with covenant, with truth, with your own vow, with your own word from God, gifts, sown from the top down. And if they don't, well, then that's a person that is wise that keeps in their wisdom and this is worse than a fool in their folly and there's nothing worse than a fool in their folly that means that the person that fool in their folly is the one that has the wisdom and still does not pour it forth